Hi, Anna Maria. My name's Lincoln Cannon. I'm uh, I'm friends with your husband, Julio, and he asked me to give you a brief introduction to Mormonism and to the Mormon Transhumanist Association. And uh, so, first, Mormonism. Mormonism is a religion of the Judeo, Judeo Christian tradition. So we look to the Bible, uh, just like Christians and Jews do, for inspiration. We consider the Bible to be the Word of God, although we don't insist on literal interpretations of the Bible. Some Mormons do interpret the Bible literally; some don't. We have lots of we have lots of uh, different interpretations of, of our of our scriptures. Uh, but, hold on one moment. No, I wanted you guys yeah, also to be okay. right. <laughs> Um, and these are my friends, Leonard and Nathan. Nathan's actually my brother-in-law. Leonard and I, we were missionaries for the LDS Church, which is the largest Mormon denomination. Uh, we were missionaries together in France for two years. And uh, so that, that's a little bit about Mormonism. Again, we consider ourselves Christians, but we also have more scripture than the Bible. We have what we call the Book of Mormon. Um, we also have a book called The Doctrine and Covenants, another called The Pearl of Great Christ, lots of additional scripture, and we don't believe that scripture should ever end. We should always have more scripture. So that's kind of a little bit about Mormons. And then the Mormon Transhumanist Association, we're an organization that uh, takes Mormonism, and we see in Mormonism many compatibilities with transhumanism. And we feel like combining Mormonism and transhumanism together gives us a stronger, um, a stronger religious foundation and more compatibility, a better way of expressing the compatibility of our religion with science and technology. And so we, we use Mormon transhumanism as a way to advocate both a particular kind of religion and a particular kind of stance towards science and technology, a very positive, embracing stance towards science and technology and the things that it can help us do. And ultimately, we believe that science and technology are among the means that we can use to realize the prophecies of our religion, such as immortality and resurrection and eternal life and the creation of worlds without end. Those are the sorts of things that we think science and technology can help us um, as means for attaining.